Hey and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And we are finally in the Premiership. Um, so if you've watched the previous episode, we'll know you'll know that we came second. Sadly, we didn't come first. It was very close, actually. Yeah, we came second in the cha uh, Skybet Championship. And therefore, we are now playing for the Premiership. And it's very exciting. It's probably going to be the last season I can play before the beta for the FM22 uh, game. So, yeah. Quite happy that we were able to get to this point before the new game kick kicks in. So, obviously starting off just by pointing out that we are absolutely favourite to be relegated. So we're going to have quite a hard task ahead. Um, yeah, so it, I stopped off in the previous episode just saying that the club has absolutely no money to make transfer transfers. And I promised I wouldn't spend it all. Um, I haven't spent it all yet, but I've spent more than I should. Um, so <laughs> we're going to have a look at the players that I brought in. I spent quite a few million, which the club does not have, by the way. Um, yeah, we're going to go through the tra transfers. And there are still some transfers that I'm wishing to do. There's still some positions not quite closed off. So we'll go through that as well. And we play a match. All right, let's head over to the squad. There it is, the brand new squad. Uh, still some new players to come, as I said, and I'm gonna pull up the notes on the side, if I can. There we go. Yeah, so the biggest, one of the biggest things we changed this year were the goalkeepers. Tom Yates uh, was very, very good for us. He was obviously one of our club icons alongside uh, Mike Dodds. Uh, sorry, Mark Dodds. Um, and he kind of he kind of reached his peak. His contract ran out, so I decided to release him and, and like get a replacement for him. Franco Gatto was our, our other goalkeeper. Excellent goalkeeper, by the way. Only 20 years old. He might have been 21 now. Um, and he just wanted to leave. He, he, he had requested quite a long time ago to be transferred after the club. So I decided to capitalize on that. So I, we sold him for 15 million, even though we got him free initially. So we never paid any money for him to any clubs. And we sold him for 15 million to a Greek club, I think. We'll check in a minute. And to replace those two, we've got Matt, Matt Shaw, um, experienced goalkeeper. Uh, he's gonna, probably going to be our main goalkeeper over from Swansea. He doesn't have much experience of the Premiership, but he did come from Chelsea's youth club. And we also got this really cool young kid from Porto, my hometown club, if you've been wondering. And he's on loan from Porto and yeah, just going to be around. He, you know, he might challenge the first position, we'll, we'll see. Um, now for the right side of the fence, there are no changes sadly. I wasn't able to find any better players, so we still have Richard South. He's pretty good actually. And we still have Andre, who is a little bit better. Ooh. I'm really sorry. I'm in the process of renewing the center of defense. So two signings completed, potentially two more to complete uh, for a complete renewal of the center backs. But yeah, so we've got uh, Rafael Escudero, a German with a Spanish name. Um, he's come over on a free transfer from Bayern Munich. Um, and we also have someone else where is he ah uh, sebastian rizzo from Ar um an argentinian player very 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 good 20 year old from boca in argentina now he cost norman like i think oh no only two and a half million only two and a half million okay so the center backs didn't cost that much i thought he had cost more than that but he didn't so rafael on free transfer is uh, sebastian on two and a half million transfer that means we uh, obviously that basically those two just substituted the previous players we had on loan which i can't remember anymore who they were in the meantime harry hagan who had been on loan f uh, away from us was released because we no longer needed him and we still have to find 
uh, replacement for Scott uh, Sheehan, who is at the end of his contract and is already starting to decline, but that might just be a summer thing. But yeah, I want to get someone a little bit better than him, and we definitely need to get someone better than Gordon Harkness at this point. Also at the end of his contract and reaching retirement age at any point in the next few years. On the left side of the fence, we are desperately looking to replace... Um, or actually to find someone uh, for the second, to be the second player in this position. So we still have Albert, uh, our biggest mistake you know, from a couple of seasons ago. We still have him, he's still around, he's still going to stay around, I think. And we just pulled up a kid from the youth team because we have no one better to fill that position at that point. So Matthew Price from our youth team is going to stick around maybe for a few weeks until we put him back in the under 18s if we find a replacement. Uh, for the halfback position, we ended up selling Neil Moot, finally, and we renewed this position altogether. Remember, a few uh, seasons ago, we got uh, Tony Quinn, still plenty of room to improve, and now we've got Alex on loan from Real. Oh no, from Southampton. He started at Real, he's from, from Southampton, came from Southampton on loan. So that's that. Carry on down in the box-to-box uh, -box position. We still have our signing from last season, maybe two seasons ago. Hurtado, 19-year-old. Uh, uh, great development to come from him. But we also brought in a new player. And this is our biggest signing, I think, of the whole season. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, he's not. He's not our biggest signing for the whole season. From, from the whole season. There's someone who we paid a lot more uh, than that. Watford, from Watford, we've got Nicolas Gay Ray, and he's also young, so that position is covered for the foreseeable future if we were to play more seasons. A small change to the right wing, we just got uh, Danny Bates as a quick um, fixer for that position. We still have uh, Declan Wright as well. Um, on the left side of the attack, we still have Mark Dodds. And we are still looking for a second player for that position. In the meantime, we've got Theo uh, Nimpsey up from the under-23s just to fill that gap for us at the moment. So we're still looking for someone for that position. Now, Nathan Clark is our biggest signing of the season. Or at least our most expensive signing of the season. Uh, our new shadow striker from Glasgow Rangers. Uh, yeah. So there's that... Really, and we still need to find someone else for that position because we have no one else. So we had this kid, Nathan Smith, to fill out uh, as a second player for that position from the end of 23s. And we also have a new striker. We released uh, Miles Shiny, who was getting to his last legs. We still have our, sizing from, uh, our signing from last season. This Icelandic kid that I can't pronounce his name. I'm really sorry. And now we also have Chris Lamb, who's come to us from Charlton. Um, yeah, so quite a few names and faces. Overall, we uh, we spent 44 million um, on players, and we sold uh, a few players as well. Still in the process of selling a few players, to be honest. Uh, from last season and we still have some transfers to complete I'm not sure how many of them I'll be able to complete because it all depends on the transfer, transfer budget as you can see uh, we kind of run out slowly um, so yeah we'll see how that goes now uh, obviously if we just quickly go to team report we will be able to see that we are pretty low on everything compared to the other teams our goalkeeping is actually not looking too bad. And if I remember correctly, the defense is all right, except it lacks speed. But everything else is just complete and utter sorriness. Heading and jumping is not too bad for attack. Um, the final thing is we are the youngest team in the Premiership at the moment, and we will continue to be. Our oldest player, uh, is one of the players we're trying to replace anyway. Gordon Harkness, 31 years old. Got, uh, at the moment, a 17 year old, but that will change as soon as we get a replacement. But yeah, 19 year old 
I hope the 29 year olds. So quite a young squad uh, for the Premiership. Um, obviously, because there are so many faces, we've had to do some changes to captainship. So now we have Danny Bates as our vice captain. Dot's still our captain though. No changes there. Sorry, I just had something underneath the table. Uh, didn't recognize, but it's just the wall. Nothing different. Um, and yeah, so the dynamics needs to be built up and groups cohesion needs to be built up and that's that. I won't tell you too much about the transfers that I'm hoping to bring in. We'll get to meet those um, as time goes, because I don't even know if these are going to be confirmed or not. So we'll have to just be patient and see. Maybe in the next episode I'll introduce them to you. But we are going to play our first match against um, Norwich. We didn't do too badly for the friendlies. Um, Finance-wise, we are 21.5 million in the red, but we have so much revenue from TV coming in soon. Like It comes in dibs and drabs, obviously, every month, but I think we'll be fine. The board doesn't seem too worried about it. We have completed the expansion to our stadium, so now we have 12,000 seating stadium and, and the f uh, soil heating, I believe. And we are in the process of increasing our youth level as well. So lots of good news. I've already selected the team and the tactics, so nothing really massively different from what we usually do. I know I'm going attacking and I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to go attacking anyway. And yeah, nothing massively different. We're going to play with a few new players. So we've got a new goalkeeper, a new center defender, obviously a youth player here for the um, for the left while we wait for replacements. One new half back, a new right back and shadow striker. So lots and lots of new players in this starting squad. Some of them need numbers. And off we go. And again, I always, the, the, the starting squad, so the first squad that I play for the league, uh, it's always based on how well players have been doing in the off season. Uh, friendlies and stuff so uh, nothing to don't read too much into it is what I'm, I'm saying these things will change um, okay okay so yeah quite likely that we won't do well this season because we don't really have um, even though we have a lot, our players are a lot better than last season. Uh, we still can compete, can't compete with the Premiership sides because what our players lack is Premiership experience. They're young, they're good, but they don't have, for the most part, Premiership experience. And there's maybe a couple of them who do, but on the whole, they're just very, very good uh, Skybet Championship players type thing. So. But it's quite exciting to have a young squad because I feel like those types of squad tend, squads tend to develop and you kind of get co cohesion uh, quite quickly. Which is the whole aim of me investing in young players. Also, I fulfilled some of the um, club vision requirements as, for example, um, acquiring and the 20 players for the first team. But I didn't do anything different than I than I usually do in the off season. So I always look for, you know, um, improving those attributes, uh, key att attributes, which is what the numbers in brackets mean, if you've been following for a while and you didn't know. Um, and also uh, always going for the sort of the youngest players within those uh, requirements so that they have room for improvement and stuff but yeah I've been following the um, videos that FM's been putting out for the new game it looks quite good not massively different it doesn't seem massively different in terms of features there are some nice features around though 
I like the fact they're trying to make the game more realistic in terms of linking up um, new ways they're linking up attributes and animations and uh, just the management of the team within the game. So things like things that I'll pay attention to, like um, uh, you know who's tired and who's injured and uh, squad rotation and the ratings the, the players have been getting and stuff. I'll link in that into how they actually play in match. Um, so that's good. All right, let's do some subs. Ooh. I'm really sorry. Ah, I'm really tired today for some reason. Right, okay. Tony Quinn. And let's give some people a chance to debut. So we're going to put in two, two new players for... Oh no, just one. One new player for us. A youth player. Because we're not going to win this match anyway. So might as well just give players some minutes. The squad seems fairly happy anyway, how the game is going. They haven't backed down or anything, so... Still trying to go for it. Got a good chance here, slightly... Yeah, slightly missed opportunity there. The kind of miscommunication there, I think. Between the left back, between the right back and the right winger. Hurtado hesitating. And then Norwich get the counter attack. Now, a few things that I still need to do. I still have sold some of the under 23's surplus players, but I still have a few to go through, uh, about three or four maybe, to sell out. And then I need to go through training, individual training. Uh, so that's another thing I need to do for the under 23s and also for the main squad for the senior squad so that's another thing i will do and the final thing i need to do i usually do this first but this season i didn't because i wanted to i've noticed sometimes the, tra the wage budget gets affected by um staff hirings i'm not sure why i don't think that's meant to be a thing but anyway so this season i decided to leave um you know, looking at the staff, contract renewals and new staff and stuff um, until after I finish the transfer window. So that's what will happen after the transfer window is closed or at, after I've finished all the transfers that I want to bring in. It's nice to see our stadium nice and full for the Norwich game. It's quite good. Ooh. That's not a penalty, is it? Oh, it's going to VAR. There we go, there's a little telly. This is new. So, the verdict is... No penalty. Free kick. Great, okay. I might just play on for a few more minutes just to see if some of those transfers come through. And I will do a little bit of squad rotation for the next match as well. I'll just give everyone a chance to play. I'm not going to deal with um, uh, selling out players for now. Uh, I can't really offer much more. So the previous off, uh, this is the previous off. Are they rejecting it? Yeah, okay. Back, the most I can offer is that. Yeah, they're not going. Okay. So we're not signing uh, this centre back. I'll have to wait until. Oh, look. No. 
This is a new, I've never seen this feature. So, so this is we sold out in the first match. Can we request an expansion? I don't think so because we just finished expanding. So, yeah, we don't have money. Oh no, I can't pay that much. Um, what was the previous offer? Two and a half. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't. Okay. I, I, can, I can probably. I could probably, but then that would affect our wage budget. And I really don't want to overspend. Okay. Let's have a look at training for a minute. Um, fill it out with some things. I think I'm going to go with um, I've been working on set pieces, so let's do that. And we always do a little bit of community outreach and team bonding, that will do. Yeah, so I'm not really sure when the beta for the next game comes out. But as soon as it comes out, I will be releasing some videos. Obviously not very often because I'm actually quite busy at the moment. But I will be releasing some videos. Um, just to explore the new features. And I'll just start save. I'll probably just start the Hereford save again. And go through it again. Who knows? Um, obviously you can give me some suggestions if you want in, in the comments or on Patreon. And I'll be quite happy to explore some of those. I don't know if, whether to do just a beta save or a save that I start in the beta and then carry on. Okay, so we've got a new full back for the left, which is amazing. Um, Uh, so if I put my notes back on, you'll be see you'll be able to see what I'm doing. That means I now have two solid left backs, and I can put Matthew Price back in the under 18th. And I also now have a third centre back, which is going to be really important for rotation and stuff. And Gordon Harkness can now go. So we're going to release Gordon Harkness and we're going to put Matthew Price back in the under 18s. Uh, Matthew Price, you can go back to your original team and uh, you can be in it for now. And let's just leave number three open for now. And Gordon Harkness, it is time to release you. Thank you for your service. Now let's have a look and see um, what the transfer budget is and how we can maybe try and plug in some of these gaps we still have in the squad. Uh, we have a transfer budget of nil and a wage budget of minus two and a half K. So I think that oh, well we definitely need uh, another shadow striker we can probably live without um, the other positions but we definitely need another sh shadow striker and that's it we're gonna sell Mike Davis he's already in the end of 23 so that's fine actually is he no he's not uh, we need to offer him come on go I'm gonna put him in the other 23s that's where he belongs for now and let's adjust the mentoring because we've changed some things 
Okay, so yeah, I will um, see if I can get someone on a loan or a free transfer to fill out some of those gaps that we have, especially for the Shadow Striker. I know Nathan Clark is great, but we need someone for rotation. We need a second player for that position. I'm not too worried about Theo Dempsey. I'm not too worried about Scott Heenan. Um, they can be... They can stay until January and then we'll find a solution then. But yeah, thanks so much for sticking around and watching. Don't forget to, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, also check out the Patreon if you're interested in supporting the channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.